Hello, I'm Greer McGeary and with me tonight is Meredith Lee and we're talking about transitioning in the workplace. Welcome, Meredith. Hi, thank you. What was the catalyst for you making the decision to transition or, or to uh, out yourself in the workplace? It was, it was pretty much a gradual process for me. Um, I have made some pretty close friends amongst my colleagues over the years and gradually more and more people knew, got to know about my, my female self. And all along I thought, wouldn't it be nice to be able to come to work as a woman? Um, and I, you know, I'd entertained this idea for a while, off and on over the years, and all of my friends at work said, why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? I said, well, not everybody knows, and you know, upper management don't know, and does it matter? I should qualify this by saying I, I work in IT, in an office with edu well-educated people. We, we do library systems and education systems. So we have a lot of people from very uh, progressive industries working with us. So it's not like working on a construction site where I'm dealing with a bunch of burly men. So I knew that if I did come out, it would be pretty safe. Um, Anyway, a couple of years ago, I decided that I wanted to go to the Christmas party in a dress. Um, so I did. And a lot of my friends were very pleased to see this, and a lot of people were a little bit surprised. Um, and there were, no, there were no negative consequences. So you talked about uh, the senior management didn't know originally, so what was the type of reaction? A few months later, um, we had a Harmony Day at work where we were encouraged to wear uh, some sort of outfit that reflected who we were. So I wore a big medieval dress, <laughs> um, and that was more a more open coming out than the Christmas party because it, not everybody went to the Christmas party. Um, and that raised a few more eyebrows. And shortly after that, I got pulled aside by a friend of mine who said that the HR had approached her, knowing she was a friend of mine, and asked about me and whether they needed to know anything, what they should be doing. This was new to them. I, I was the first person in the office to transition. Obviously, it, it does bring challenges. So what were your concerns now that these questions were going to be asked? I prepared a, after speaking with the HR um, representative, I prepared an email to send to the office um, explaining myself. I, we haven't mentioned yet, but I, I'm not full-time female. So I actually effectively transition every time I show up like this, and then the next day I'm a man, um, and which is a little strange, uh, or at least it's unusual. Um, and people just had to get used to it, and they have. It, it's been really interesting. Um, I've had no uh, no real trouble at all. Uh, upper management hasn't really said anything. I've had a lot of support from HR. They have basically said that they are aware they need to create more uh, official guidelines and company policies around this kind of thing, which I've assisted in. Just to give a scale of the workplace you're in, uh, roughly how many people work there? There's probably 60 in my, on my floor. It's, it's uh, several thousand people. It's a multinational. Um, but there's a good, probably at least 60 that I regularly so see. It's a fairly large workforce to be trans, you know, to, to have a diverse range of views. Yes, yes. Now, probably the other thing that I'd like to find out from you is that uh, the outside of work support, uh, good or bad, that you've had. It's been really good really good. My, my family's been great. Um, my extended family's been great. Um, I've, my closest friends have 
known both sides of me for many years, and they're very supportive. And I, I really, I haven't, I really haven't had any trouble. That's really wonderful to hear. The other aspect of it is, how do you personally feel? You know, what what, what are the benefits that you think that have made you a better person? Or it's made me feel more free, definitely, to do whatever I want as far as presenting myself. Um, I had this nail polish on uh, earlier in the week when I was Meredith, and I didn't take it off. I went to work as my male self with the nail polish on, and a couple people went, you've got blood on your hands, and that was about it. Um, I, I've got to the point where I don't care anymore whether someone thinks it's weird. You know, obviously I care if I feel that my safety's in danger, but... So in feeling freer, do, do you feel that it, it improves your work, you think? Oh, as far as how it affects my work, um, it doesn't, doesn't affect it at all, really. That, that's really wonderful to hear because obviously there are issues I've heard with other trans traditions in the workplace where some people who the person transitioning thought was supportive turned out not to be, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Not, not yet, and I haven't really hadn't, and I don't expect there to be any problems. Um, the only thing that occasionally happens is people will misgender me or use the wrong name, um, but I can't really complain too much about that because tomorrow I'm going to be my old self again, so, you know. It uh, thank you, Meredith, for telling your story. I'm Gria McGeary. Thank you for watching, and thank you, Meredith. Thank you.